You put in all this time into writing content on your website. Sometimes it gets a lot of traffic, other times it doesn't. A lot of times you get traffic and then all of a sudden a month, two months later, six months later, a year later, it stops getting traffic altogether. That sucks because why would you want to keep writing content that no one reads in the long run? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel and today I'm going to teach you four simple hacks to bring dead pages back to life with massive SEO gains. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. That way, as we release more content like this, you'll get notified. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. The first step I have for you is to make a list of all your posts. I want you to log into Google Analytics, click on Behavior, then click on Overview, click View Full Report. Then I want you to click Export and choose your preferred file format. This will give you a list of all your pages and posts. This is great because the next step, step two, I want you to pick the posts that you want to optimize. Posts with good conversion rates, posts with good time on page, posts with good bounce rates. You'll find that a lot of times these pages aren't the most popular. They're not getting the most traffic. That's okay. You want the pages that are getting the most sales, the most leads, the most revenue, because if you take them and then you go and adjust them and make it better, which I'll show you how to do, at least you'll be getting traffic that converts into sales. The last thing you want to do is just take random pages, get them more traffic, and then find out your sales, your leads, your conversions all stay the same. This brings me into step three. I want you to use one of the hacks I'm going to teach you or a combination of them. Here are the hacks I want you to use. Hack one, leverage powerful internal linking opportunities, right? You can go and see, all right, what are your top pages? You can either do that through the Google report that you just exported, or you can use Ubersuggest, put in your URL, check out the pages that are getting the most traffic, the ones that are the most popular, consider taking those pages and linking from those pages to the pages that you want to optimize and rank higher. Because the more you link to the pages that have the best conversions, the chances are they'll increase in rankings over time. And pages that are already loved by Google, if those pages are linking to the pages that have high conversion rates and low traffic, eventually you're passing more juice to those pages, which helps them push up. Hack number two, combining content pieces around similar topics. Check which of your articles are on very similar topics or duplicates. You can go into Google Search Console and see if they're ranking for similar terms. If they are, start combining these, take the URLs, pick the most popular version, put it all on there, take the least popular version, 301 that non-popular version to the most popular one, and that'll combine the content, put more emphasis, more juice into one URL, and that'll help you increase in your rankings. Reason being, if you have two articles on the same topic, how does Google know which ones to rank? Well, doing this will help solve that problem. This is why Wikipedia does so well. They just keep having one page on a specific topic and then they keep expanding it versus having 10 pages on the same topic. You'll also want to update your internal links using Scheming Frog. It's another way to detect, hey, what's working, what should be deleted, um, because a lot of times you'll have old outdated posts and pages that have issues and Screaming Frog can help you identify this, which will also give you more opportunities as well. Hack number three, consolidate cannibalizing content with redirects. So find pages that aren't getting traffic and then find pages that are on similar topics, even if they're not on the same keyword and start combining them. When you do this, what you're doing is getting rid of junk pages that Google doesn't want to rank. This will take your authority and push it into the pages that matter versus spreading out your site authority into all these thousands of pages where most of them aren't ranking. And when you delete a lot of the old ones, you want to make sure you 301 redirect those old pages to the right revived URLs or the most relevant ones. Hack number four, land and expand technique. This is one of my favorite tactics. So what I do is I go into Google Search Console. I already know the pages that are doing well in traffic. I already know the pages that are converting well because I saw that in Google Analytics. And I go into Google Search Console and I look at all of the queries that are driving traffic to those URLs. I take those keywords, I put them into Uber Suggest. The reason I put them into Uber Suggest is it shows you the long tail variations of those keywords. If you're already ranking for the head terms, it's really easy to rank for the long tail variations. I take all the long tail variations Uber Suggest spits out, I go back into that page, 
I add in all the relevant ones that make sense. And by doing this within 30 days, I usually pop up on page one for all the long tail variations as well. If you follow all those tips and hacks, you'll start reviving your dead pages, getting more traffic and more sales. If you need help doing this with your site, check out my ad agency, Neil Patel Digital. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, leave a comment and I'll answer it. Thank you for watching.